So the next lab is about the SNET implementation using iRule. So this is the document we have created. You can follow the guideline, logging to the F5. After logging to the F5, what you can do is you can actually create an iRule. iRule has this script. This script I have already created with the when client accepted SNET pool. Okay, so it's referred to the pool. So I'm going to create this SNET, uh, sorry, iRule. That will be MAS SNET rule. The MAS SNET rule I have created here. After that, we can go to HTTP server, virtual server, and we can apply the I rule here. We have already applied the HTTP the one thing which we are already using this, for example, so we can remove this right now and in the I rule section, so in the resources, we can manage I rule and we put the mass as net rule. And when we test it from the outside, 100, Client IP, you can see 112. Okay, if I just remove this, for example, let me just remove this. Let me just remove this to, okay. When I remove this, let's see what happened. And I say client, and the request is coming from, maybe it's in the cache or maybe it's not updated. Uh, Update, sorry. Yeah, just months. If I try again. So no I rule applied. We are uh, as net list is not there. SNET pool is there. So server, HTTP server, and uh, SNET resource, and we the SNET I rule. Okay, so let me just try again. Go to the stats, LTM, and SNET translation. This is translation. Okay, so that's the SNET using the iRoot.